Okay, so a while back I was uh, talking to one of my subscribers um, just about hammocking and in general camping and gear and things like that and he, he mentioned uh, the hang time hammock which I'll just flash a pair for you uh, phone holder and I looked and thought that is amazing that's going to be an absolute game changer for me when I'm out just camping because I don't always film my camping trips I do film probably 90% of them but I don't film every camping trip that I go out and I thought that would be ideal whilst I'm laid in my hammock to have like a ridge line phone holder so I've done a little bit of research into it and I thought I can make one of them now it just so happens that I had a broken phone holder that's very similar to the Hangtime Hammocks design but this is one that I picked up from I'm not sure if it were B&M or Home Bargains for around about £3 but if you look that is an identical design to the Hangtime Hammocks one it just looks like it's got a 3D printed part in the back um, to it attached to the ridge line and I thought how can I convert this into it so what I did is uh, I reverse engineered it so I took it apart piece by piece by piece and I was left with this so basically it's just a ball and socket in which the phone holder attaches the ball and the socket so it acts like a, a shoulder joint I suppose so it just clips it there and blah blah so I was thinking how can I convert this so that's what I'm going to show you now what I came up with Okay, so I'm in my shed as you can see. Now, what I came up with was obviously after I reverse engineered all these parts. Now, I don't need these for this part, so they can just be pushed to one side. So, what I've got left is the phone hold, like clamshell holder type thing, and then the ball and socket onto here. Now, if you look at the Hennessy Hammocks one, all it is is just like a little tube that goes over a ridge line. So I've snipped a bit of my ridge line. Okay, and then I'm trying to find something tubular that would go over this. And what I came back with was this. So it's just a simple Crayola pen from my kids' felt tips. Well, in fact, the lid would work, wouldn't it? So the lid from there. Now that does fit. So all I'm going to have to do is drill out this end. So I'll do that now. I know my uh, ridge line is 4 mil. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use hopefully a 3 mil bit. Is that 3 mil? Yeah. And that is the 3 mil bit attached into my drill. And then just take the, the uh, pen top and just line up in the centre and create a 3 mil hole right through now because I've gone 3 mil it's just going to give it a little bit of resistance when you're moving it up and down your ridge line hopefully so I'm just going to see if I can get that to squeeze through Okay, so I just had to re-drill the hole just a, a tad more just to give me a little bit more purchase. Okay, a couple of twists and it should just give me a bit of a, a grip on the end. And remember this is just a crude method and it's not my actual ridge line but I just want to test that I can get it onto 
same mill thickness cordage that I use for my ridge line. You can see that it is coming through. So when I've got a little bit of a show like I have there, that's when you'll get your pliers and just sort of give yourself that extra grip that you need. Just nip it through. That's it, like so. And then you've got yourself a tubular sort of holder there for your ridge line. Okay, and then now we're going to try and find a way to mount that to the uh, ball and socket. Okay, so I'm come up with a little method. So there we are, still in place. And this is where we want to try and mount it. So the ball will be going off towards the phone, leaving it like so. So we want the tube sort of resting somewhere in here. So it does sort of fit snugly inside this holder. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pack it out a little bit and just raise it up so that the ridge line comes across it and then hopefully trim down the holder. So I'm just going to go around it with insulation tape for now. Insulation tape started. Gone for black or scary tactical black. Obviously it's available in an array of colours. That's why you should never bite your fingernails kids. So yeah, you can see that we've just got the, the crude opening on here where I've drilled. And I'm just going to nip that to there. And just go around a couple of times. Nipping in on the end. And then go down the length of the uh, felt tip pen. You know, as I said, it's your design, so you could leave it orange if you wanted, or make it all black. I think I'm going to put a bit of a stripe in, so I'm going to nip that there, and then just start a little bit further down. Just an orange flesh, so it's not completely black. As much as I love black, it can be quite hard to see in the dark. But yeah, just as I said, packing it out, making sure you go over the cordage, and then crudely pull it off, and then just nipping to your cordage, just so that it's got a bit more purchase when you're trying to pull it on the cordage, so that it does stay in place when you're not actually pulling it. So it's still free, so it works similarly to a Prusik loop. So it will stay, but you can move it. So yeah, that's that bit. Now put on a 5mm drill bit. Remember, your cordage might be slightly different to mine, so don't copy my video, you know, for pace for pace. And we're just going to drill slowly through the phone holder there. That's it, nip through. Put your drill into reverse and just come back out. And you should have a, a nice neat hole, like so, for your cordage to uh, fit through. So, again, it might not be the neatest, but yeah, pass it through, pull it through, and then we're just going to do another hole on the opposite side, just here. So, I'll do that. If I off center it slightly, it'll give it a bit more purchase. Mm. 
And that's it. So you should have two holes now for the cord to pass through. So you can see what I'm doing with it, can't you? So the pen tube, cord, cord, and then it should look similar similar to that. And then we're just going to trim this side down and that side down. Uh, not figured that out yet, what I'm going to use. So I'll come back to you in a minute. So yeah, I've managed to feed the cordage through now. So you can see it comes through the front there, goes through the pen lid with the uh, insulation tape on there, just holding it in place. I've not glued it in or anything, so that I can obviously take it off of here. But if you're going to have it on your ridge line permanently, uh, and you pack it away like this, you could obviously do that. But because it's off-centred, it is quite difficult now to pull some cordage through. But you can do it. So you can slide it up and down the ridge line to where you want it. And then obviously now, what you do, is you then unscrew your phone holder on the uh, socket, pop the ball in, and then re-tighten. And you've then made the Hennessy Hammocks hang time phone holder for two ninety nine and a bit of ingenuity. So yeah, there you have it. A DIY sort of ridge line phone holder. Yeah, so thanks for the idea, uh, unnamed subscriber. <laughs> so I've just been messing as you do, and you can see the little bit of ridge line that I uh, originally attached. I've now tied fixed loops into and then plan is now I can leave them on there and then just make little pussics and the little clips that I use quite often into either side on pussics and then I can slide it up and down the ridge line and detach uh, as quickly as I need to so yeah just some overhand fixed loop knots and then I'm going to put the clips on here for the pussics so yeah that'll uh alleviate the need to uh, leave it on there all right so there you have it uh, a homemade hennessy hang time ridge line phone holder uh, i say it's a little bit crude but you know it works it does the job and it's not solid so you can take it off your ridge line if you don't want to leave it on there when you're packing away and pop it away uh, what i've come up with as well another design uh, another thing that i've seen if you leave this attached, you can actually feed some more cordage through, hang a little bag and a little power bank so you can actually charge your phone at the same time. Uh, just an idea, not something that I've done, just as I say, I'm making all this up as I go along, uh, as I do with most videos to be honest. But yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, comment, let me know what you thought about this. Uh, I'll try and find a link to this from B&M or Home Bargains or wherever it was. But yeah. My homemade hang time Hennessy phone holder thing in Bobby Jobby Dobby. Yeah, so don't forget to subscribe by pressing this and more videos here. See you in the next one.